Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Today we got something special. Inifowl. It's a nice uh, African, well, bird native to Africa. Black and uh, yellow spots on its feathers. A really nice bird. But we've got to be careful that when we cook it we don't dry it out. It hasn't got much fat. We're going to have some fresh asparagus, green asparagus for that as well. In Australia it's asparagus season, so eating that every day. So once you've taken out the bird and you've uh, cleaned it and you've uh, prepared it just a bit, just give it a bit of a rinse and uh, make sure there's nothing, uh, nothing there that you want to clean. First thing first, we'll give it a bit of uh, olive oil. It's going to help keep the uh, spices to it. We're not going to do too much with this bird. Just a bit of salt, pepper, and a little bit of Christian sauce as well, which goes really well. It's what they use in the Peking duck, things like that. I find it uh, to be very, very, uh, very, very good for birds. I almost always use it. Okay, so we put the oil on. Then we salt it a bit. Use some, I use always sea salt when I cook. I don't use any kind of other table salts or whatever they got there. I like proper natural salts or Himalaya salt and so on. Salt, don't forget to salt in the cavity, very important. It seasons the meat from the inside out. Very good. Now we add a bit of pepper. Of course, salt and pepper, classic ingredients that you need for almost anything, especially if it's going in the oven. So next on the uh, Seasoning list is gold hoisin sauce. As you can see, a very, very good uh, rub for birds. So, here we go. So add some of that on there. Give it a nice little massage. Like so, turn this beauty around. Add some more on there. Not too much, just enough to give it a good little covering. It's also going to give it amazing color later when we take it out the oven. Okay, that's good. So I just went to the garden, found a couple of herbs. We've got some fresh uh, rosemary here. And some thyme. Why you might say we might add these? Because this bird is worth it. I'm like a fresh guinea fowl. I'm going to do everything I can. It's the honor it deserves. Okay, so put that inside, cavity. Maybe squirt a bit of leftover lemon juice on top here. This helps to tighten up the skin and it makes it crispy. Also gives a nice little bit of a tang. Okay, so we let this marinate for an hour or two, a few hours, and then we're gonna throw it in the oven and see what happens. The guinea fowl has been marinated. Here we have some asparagus, fresh asparagus, asparagus washed, cut it, that's all we don't need, so, we need to fry it in some butter, some salt and pepper, and some lemon. Okay, so get your pan on the heat. Get some butter in there. Next, some pepper. Some of salt. Just let that melt, melt out, let that melt down a bit. Throw in a bit of uh, olive oil as well to complement. Make sure that the butter doesn't burn. Also add some additional flavor. Now you can add in your asparagus. 